It's simple to see it's Zed Magic TV So the world can believe it's Zed Magic TV How's everything going today, sir? Exciting, you know, it's exciting to be at a, at a hockey match, a very exciting hockey match, as we celebrate Black History Month. Uh, uh, black players are not in great numbers in hockey, but it's a cultural phenomenon. Well, people do well what they're exposed to. So where most of us live, there are basketball goals, and there are football fields, and we play that. Uh, but to see Simmons did what he did tonight was like exciting. And, and so African Americans, Africans who live in Canada, Canada for example, play do ball hockey. And so this is exciting to see uh, the Kings reach out and expose the market. I was in uh, Haiti about three weeks ago, and I saw children seven, eight years old and miss all the rubble and all the pain playing uh, soccer with a tennis ball because soccer is the cultural orientation. And so it was an exciting game tonight. Uh, and exciting to see so many people who are uh, at their first hockey match. And it had, will have a definite impact on expanding the market for all of hockey. Where do you see black society's youth going in the next couple years? Where do you see black society youth going in the next couple years? Well, what we have to go is to be, we have to have targeted job development, access, and education because we have, we have now among our youth, 50% unemployment. Among black adults in many areas, 25%. Those are unacceptable levels of depression. And so people need jobs. Uh, they need access to education, uh, affordable health care, and to stop home foreclosures. That's just real everyday stuff that we're dealing with. Uh, the result of the lack of that creates desperation. And we should be able to live develop freely and fully and not live always in the uh, zone of desperation. So you see that everything succeeding in the future, everyone doing better? We are doing better. You look at how far we've come in the last 60 years, amazing growth and development. And yet there is unfinished business. I mean, to go, and I saw Texas play Alabama in the Pasadena in the, for, for number one. Those schools are not allowed blacks to attend 30 years ago. But now we move from skin color to uniform color. You see us growing. Uh, in the hockey, as we, as we seek to expose the marketplace, uh, in presidential politics. So there's a growth taking place, but there's an underbelly of poverty, pain and discrimination that's very real. And we must, we cannot rest until we measure our real progress by how we treat the least of these. It's one thing to have the phenomenon of a Kobe Bryant of Michael Jordan, of Oprah Winfrey, of uh, President Barack Obama. That shows people whose talent was so great it could not be denied. But character is measured by how we treat the lost sheep, how we treat the left behind, how we treat the locked out. And that number, 50 million Americans are, are food malnourished. That's real. Uh, 50 million have no health insurance. That's real. And so whether white or black, we have some shared need as human beings to face the issue of poverty, and literacy disease, and to educate our children, and choose schools over jails, and life over death. I agree. I think if we had more schools, there'd be more people, less people locked up. Well, and we need schools for children, but those children's parents need jobs, and the ability to buy a house, and a stable homes produce stable children and stable families. And so, it's key to that is the job, the education. Recreation, a house, and healthcare, all that makes up the stuff one needs to be uh, complete in environmental development. Thank you so much and enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you, sir.